Hey, good facts here. So today I'm going to talk about create a player, aka cap, C A P, in MLB The Show 18. I'm going to talk about my create a player, some tips I've learned, some kind of uh, it's just basically generally overview of the create a player. I don't know if you guys uh, want to do a little bit of role play with me. That's kind of how I've chosen to do this, um, and not the role play you guys are thinking. The role play where I'm role playing a guy. You can you can do basically many different things. You can just go for um, yourself, uh, uh, Big Daddy Dick, a, anything you want to name. But I decided to go with a Jimmy Fox card. I don't know why I decided to go with Jimmy Fox, double X, uh, great slugger in the 20s uh, with the A's and, and uh, Red Sox. So here he is, six foot, 195. Basically what I did is, is I don't think he's going to be a legend in the game this year, so I went with him. Other great legends, uh, there's Pepper Martin, the wild horse of the... I always say it wrong. I always say Osage, but it's – I don't remember. He's a good one. Pee Wee Reese. I think he's in the game, actually. Just just find some old old guy. Old Hoss Radburn would be a good one. Uh, but anyways, I chose Jimmy Fox. And so I basically went through – kind of made him close to what he looks like. I didn't spend, like, hours and hours. I spent, I don't know, 30 minutes generally uh, changing up his stuff, uh, putting the names, the age, kind of what I, what I wanted him at. Maybe he's a little young. He got a little thicker as he got older. He was, he was a little thinner. Um, so I went with the, the, the thicker kind of appearance on mine uh, with the body here whatnot. So basically what this video is going to be about is the motions and sounds. Um, what I ended up doing with Batting Stance Creator, just kinda, it feels like it just reset my Batting Stance Creator. Because I have him, the real life Jimmy Fox is, is much more like exaggerated down over the shoulder. I'm going to see if I can't do it. I'm not going to save any changes, but it's like more like in here so what i did was actually went through every single batting stance and i found the one that most fit like jimmy jimmy fox so i think the batting stance is one thing but the most important like people are going to ask like hey what's the best way of getting a quick swing through the strike zone to get a better hitting what's like like the uh basic uh what, what, the Corey seager of last year um, but based this this i haven't found to matter as much like where where you are with with the way you with with the way you look um, uh, I, I can't, man, let's see, hips offsets, but I don't want to save any of this. Anyway, so animations, basically what you want to do is find guys, I think if you're going to be a pitcher, you want to find guys with, um, short, that's basically out of the stretch. You don't want wind up. The wind up for meter, it feels like it's harder because it's further apart, um, the, the timing on it. So what you want to do is get guys like Strasburg, where is he at? Um, I, I only I was only on uh, Severino because I, I thought I saw a glitch with him, um, but but in fact I wasn't able to re uh, replicate it. All right, Strasburg, it's basically people that pitch out of the stretch full time. I think those are the best ones to go with. Easiest to time either your, if you're analog pitching or meter pitching. Those are the easiest ones to kind of uh, locate where you want because it's quick. It's like tap tap. It, it just it feels easier to do it that way. I've always liked guys pitching out of the stretch more than the, the long windups, and especially the long windups. It takes longer during games either um, against other players, and grinding the CPU, you want to cut out every single second possible. So getting a picture that you can just spam the button, spam the button, spam the button, spam the button is so important. So I, I suggest somebody. Strasburg is good, but, but you want to look for um, guys, if you want to go like something crazy, you want to go like a, a, a sidewinder or something. Actually, I haven't really looked too hard into to the best sidewinders um, in, in the game. Uh, I'm trying to think. Sidewinders. Who would be a good sidewinder? That's something I should have done before this uh, video. A, a kind of a glitchy underhand. Put, put it in the comments, please. Good uh, sidewinders are under um, funky deliveries to help people out uh, for uh, the cap and who to choose for pitcher. But it, let's, I've had more experience with um, batting, and this is kind of what I want. Last year, last year one-handed follow-throughs had issues with topspin, um, and so I went with two, two hands this year. People said the one-handed style is fixed. I still prefer two-handed just to, just to try and uh, get through it. I like, I like, what, what I like to see with his batting is I like to see quick off the shoulder to the, to the zone. So this one feels a little bit long. Do you see how long that kind of kind of looked like through the animation? So the animation in this game is almost everything. Like you want it quick from the shoulder through the zone. Um, that style seemed too quick or too long. That one seems way too long. That one seems long. That one seems quick. Do you see how? Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see how? See how it feels like the animation it gets there quick. Like see, see, watch watch the end of the bat. Basically, watch the end of the bat and how quickly it gets through the zone. So the two-handed style too is amazing into the zone. That one it seems like see how it's kind of like a long looping thing. You don't want those long looping swings. Um, so 
yeah, that's kind of what why I went with two-handed style two. Um, so that way I can get quick to the zone, get some nice loft on it. Practice swing doesn't matter. It, this is kind of more aesthetic. Stride matters a ton. Um, you want a quick stride. There's the default, which I think takes too long. Like, cause you, see how you're lifting up, and then you're going forward. You want that quick stride. I think style one is the best stride because you go you going straight straight forward. So you want the quickest stride, quickest bat to the zone. That's why I chose st- style two. Seems too long also. Um, so I want style one there. Take pitch. This is aesthetics. Doesn't matter. Take pitch strikes. That one again doesn't matter. Miss doesn't matter. Uh, home run left handed. Again, you'll, this is uh, this is um, aesthetics. Like I said, so just whatever one you want to flaunt off. I don't like the flaunt. I don't like Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox wasn't a flaunter, at least not in my mind. I, I've never actually. I've seen video of him to replicate his his uh, swing style and uh, his batting stance, but I haven't like. I watched a couple of interviews with him, but otherwise I haven't like I wasn't like super into him. So that that's the motions and sounds. I think the most important one. Equipment there, you can cut. This is just more customization. One little tip, if you like, if so, with the equipment, uh, do you want? Are you sure you want to? Yeah, I don't want to save my changes. So with the equipment that you're gonna add on to these guys, so you're gonna go to community market equipment. So you can basically go through different types of bat. Let's look through the bats. Um, I suggest getting as much power as you can on your bat for what, whatever you can afford. Something like, uh, ooh, that's a thousand stubs. That's quite a bit, but the power is super nice. Plus five power for ten stubs. That's that's like a musket. That's a musket right there. Not not a real musket. This isn't like the revolution. But uh, the Mizuno Maple Elite, great. So always try and max out your power unless you're going for like a speedy contact guy. Unless you're going for like maximum speed, get get the power equipment. Um, even if you're going for a balanced guy, I think power mat- matters more than anything else. Uh, fielding gloves. So basically, what 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 the tip was? If you get these, say, eyewear, if you have these sunglasses and you get something that's super uh, nice or you like it, but you don't like the look on your face, what you do is after you equip that on your guy. So let, I'll go to I'll go to my player, my customized player, equip created player. So you go in here into that equip created player. You quit there. I got what's what's up? What's amazing about this? I bought this bat and it's like tripled in price since I bought it. So I'm I'm kind of hyped about uh, that. The, the these these diamond things have just exploded in value because everybody in like road to the show have to have to use these things, um, so it's 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 kind of a big deal. Otherwise, a lot of these things I just I just want with gold, which is fine enough. I'm not I'm not a speed guy, but I got the speed plus eight gold. I think I actually pulled I pulled all of these things except for except for these three. I think I bought this hat for bat. I bought these two. I actually pulled this glove. Um, so. Anyways, like I said, the eyes. See how there's no eyes on me? Uh, no sunglasses. So if you equip, equip your eye sunglasses, and then you go into your create a player, edit create a player, and then you just go into your physical appearance, eyes, and then you... Wait, 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 wait sorry, equipment, um, eyewear, and then just take off the eyewear. Just go from feeling to no, always. Yeah, so you just take off your feel. So that's, that's one way of showing it. Um... That's kind of a little tip if you don't like it. I don't like I don't like him wearing eyewear because Jimmy Fox wouldn't wear eyewear. Also, Jimmy Fox wouldn't wear that sleeve, so he's wearing a sleeve. Batting gloves. Let's go to none. Did Jimmy Fox wear batting gloves? That's something I have to look up. Um, let's go to sleeves and tape. None. Batting gear. Elbow guard. Nah. Jimmy Fox don't even know out. Foot guard. Nah. Actually, I didn't. I guess I didn't go through this yet. Protective. We have to we have to use it, huh? Let's, we'll just do basic. Helmet flaps. You have to do one or two. Tar on helmet. Yeah. Caps down the arm. So, anyways, go through and create your player. Um, I'm still looking at his uniform. Jersey sleeve length. Oh yeah, you could. That's the sleeve length. If you want to show off your guns, pants style long. Anyways, so that's that. This is my Jimmy Fox. Are you sure you want to lose the changes you made? All right, cancel. Let's yeah, let's just lose the changes. I'll fix it later. So, otherwise, I mean, how you would progress your guy? I don't know if you guys know this, but you got to go through here to create a player. Um, basically, do their missions. Which sucks. Is the mission I'm at? I got some apparel exchange, hats and jerseys. Uh, once you get to this level, you got to start doing hats and jerseys. Hopefully, thirty for the hats. Are the jerseys higher or not? Page one of seven. I hope I hope the jersey oh yeah, the jersey at one hundred. So it's much more cost efficient to exchange jerseys for these guys. Especially home jerseys. 
and then life's here. So once you get high enough, you got to start exchanging stuff, which sucks. Uh, but otherwise, it's just stats and uh, beat beat a certain play versus CPU game for your first baseman. So that's Jimmy Fox right now. His stats. Let's go to my my squad. So his stats don't look great, but with the equipment in game, he's got like mid nineties power in game with that equipment, which is kind of glitchy. He's pretty good. He's got a good swing, good power. Um, I like the card. He's been doing pretty well for me. Let's take a look at his stats. Oh, so every every time you get a new upgrade, um, they, they, their stats change. So ever since I've changed his batting stance from like the custom one to the new one, he's hit a lot better. So he's hitting four four seventeen in online play. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Three home runs and, and 24 at-bats. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's about like real-life Jimmy Fox stats, except for the batting average. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions on uh, Cap. And again, let me know what kind of weird, funky deliveries you guys have found, which one would be best, and which one's your favorite. Again, I suggest pitching for the stretch. So thanks for watching. Call the action. I'll see you tomorrow.